courage uh, for me is just believing in myself. Courage is standing up for something you believe in. Courage means to me never giving up in your dreams. Iqbal was born in Pakistan. When he was four years of age, the family sold Iqbal into the rug carpet business for the equivalent of 12 United States dollars. They had to tie little, little knots in the rugs, and it was horrendous conditions. He was chained to the loom. They weren't allowed to get up and stretch. The overseers wouldn't give them food or water, just basically to keep them small. The, the longer their fingers were small, the, the more work they could get out of them. There was no light. If they made any mistakes whatsoever, they were beaten and put into these little torture chambers. Iqbal was 10 years old when he escaped from the slavery that he was in. He knew that he wanted an education. Iqbal completed six years of school within two years. His dream was to be like the Abraham Lincoln of his country. He wanted to free all the children and let them have a chance to be a child and go to school. He started going around his country and started declaring a verbal war against the rug carpet industry. He stood up for all the children that didn't have a voice and people listened. He started speaking out in Pakistan. He was speaking in England. When he came to America, he struck a chord with many people. The carpet overseers, they had lost quite an amount of money once Iqbal started speaking out. And that is why Iqbal was in danger when he went home. When I first met Iqbal, I was 12 years old. When Iqbal came into our classroom, he wanted to give us his story. He pretty much just asked us for whatever we could do if we could give him donations, if we could do anything in order to raise awareness against what was going on. I think he's very hopeful that uh, children will do something about the children of Pakistan. Thank you. Thank you. I believe Iqbal's real courage was the day that we had asked him when he visited, why are you going to go home when you know you're in danger? And he, and he said, I need to finish what I started. I'm going to finish what I started. When he went home that April, that Easter Sunday, he was shot and killed outside of his grandmother's house. He went home and was shot and killed, and that is when I became angry. And instead of just being angry about it, a group of us decided we were going to build a school in Pakistan because that is what Iqbal's dream was. In the beginning, all we heard was kids were supposed to be seen and not heard. And we had to overcome that to prove to people that we could do this. We crafted an email to send to all the other schools in the nation asking for $12 donations from each classroom because Iqbal was sold for $12 and he also was murdered at the age of 12. Within two days, we started getting responses. We'd first start out with $50,000, that was our goal. Well, the next thing you know, it started snowballing. Within a year and a half, we had raised $250,000. I've been involved in the campaign since I was in eighth grade. I'm a sophomore in college. And it definitely still has an effect on me. It's something I will never forget. He was the most courageous person I've ever met in my life. And without meeting Iqbal, I would have been that girl in the back of the class getting straight A's <laughs> and not, not doing anything that matters. Iqbal was a very bright light. He knew what needed to be done, and he didn't give up. That's what courage is all about. It's not giving up, it's always putting the first step in front of the second step. It's just getting out there and doing it, and everybody can be courageous.
Today, someone told me about a great man from America. His name was Abraham Lincoln. I want to do for my country what he did for yours. I want to free slaves. You are free. And today, I am free too. I bring you greetings from the children of my country. We can't fix problems in poor countries by making children work. Children have rights. We're people too. There are 200 million slave children like I was in the world. They have the right to play, to be with their families. They have the right to be children, just like your children do. We must say no, and only no to child-made carpets. No to any child-made products from any part of the world. to study. I want to be a lawyer so I can help children. <laughs>